Hi, I'm Matlin from Bad Wars Gaming, and I'd like to have a little discussion with you guys. It's about Trip's focus. Because in my mind, it's bullshit. No, 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 let's immediately <laughs> pull that back just a hair. I love Trip. I'm terrible with Trip, but I love her. Her lore, you know, the stealthy, happy-go-lucky assassin, she's Teemo with tits. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's amazing, though, like, and her kit, her kit works for, you know, an invisible assassin. I like it. But the alt is bullshit. Right now, she's overtuned to hell, and Botiga's like, hey, we should, you know, fix the stun, the stun animations. But that's not addressing the friggin' alt. And FB's gonna spin you a little story here about what really got me going. Like, I've been thinking about this for a little bit, but I got really pissed the other night. I was playing as Mozu, and this trip was playing smart. About halfway through the match, he went, This Moses doing a ton of damage has the most kills on this team. Well, I can't say that she thought that for sure. But about halfway through the match, when I was doing really well, she begins talking to me. Just coming after me with everything she's got. Which is the right play. I couldn't do anything. You know, she'd either focus, kill me, or, you know, drive me off a point. It was a good play. But, at one point in time, Trip and Taito were coming after me on my point. Both of them had about a third of their health. And I looked at this and I said, I got this. I've got a level 2 focus. F you guys. Let loose. Trip slid in, kicked me, knocked me out of my ult. And I immediately, like, went into, like, a red rage. Sangrarius had nothing on me. Blood Angels, F you. I had the red rage. <laughs> she can knock me out of my ult, but her ult is as ridiculous as it is. Bullshit. That's just... That's why. And let's look at some numbers. Let's, let's do some, you know, theory crafting here. Level 1, Trip Focus. In the front, does about 366 damage. On the back, it does 614. Level 3, does 650 in the front, 1,091 in the back. So, a Trip Focus can do somewhere between 366 to 1,091 damage. About. I, I don't know how much armor will really change that, or if you crack it first or anything, but that's like a base number set with no upgrades or anything. <laughs> let's immediately look into, let's look at the, the health of all the characters in the game. For any squishy target, Griselma, you know, Moz, Mozu, another trip, uh, the low end of the back armor, 614, <laughs> is more than a third of their health. Higher end, you're talking about like a quarter to maybe a fifth. And a thousand? Even like <laughs> Margrave and friggin' Gnosis, that's still like a half to a third of their health. Just eliminated. And, and you know, I was talking on the Discord, it's one of the only abilities, not on LMB, to be point and click. A point and cast. And I'm using this as a lull kind of terminology. You click on a person, you use your ability, boom. You hit them, you do damage. Yes, there's some hit scan abilities, and yes, there are beams which attach to you. And that's probably the closest analogy of beams to a trip, which are annoying nonetheless. But to put that and pair it with just ridiculous amounts of damage, that's crazy. And why I kind of also bring this up is I was, I'm reading the Reddit a lot. People are upset because, and it might be different because I use a PC instead of like Xbox, that especially on Xbox, it's hard to land in a group fight on a target. I really don't have this problem. I mean, it has a 45 degree arc and you can see it with focus priming, and I like focus priming for her at least. Like, you can't panic use it as much, but I don't really do that. I'm using it as an assassination tool. You can miss and like hit a creature while they're invincible, do zero damage. Or a hand and kill a hand. And the people like, hey, you know what we should do? We should freaking make it so we can only target heroes. No. God damn it, no. Because <laughs> Chip's alt, as I've been saying, is bullshit. And the reason it's bullshit, being a point-and-click ability, is once you have locked onto a target, that's it. The target is going to be hit. You can hit the front armor, sure. Or you can hit something that's invincible, whatever, but you're going to hit that target, no matter what. Guess what? If you're fighting a Mozu, and the Mozu teleports away, 
you're going to be on the Mozu's ass. Like, I know sometimes it sucks when you miss it, like someone teleports before you fire, and like you were clicking the animation, and you go in that little meditative pose state of barely a moving, and you're just sitting back and thinking, Next time, Mozu, next time. But I don't, 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 if the Mozu, if you lock on, the Mozu teleports, you go with it. Doesn't matter if she goes to new fudging Jersey. You're there sitting behind her like, what you up to, shank, 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 shank. The only way to get a kill, or at least have any positive effect from this, is if you teleport off a cliff with her stuck on you, so she falls to her death after murdering your dumb ass. It hits, it sticks, it's it. You can't dodge it. Uh, the McGrave has a friggin' leap attack that, you know, you can iframe through, and I think his ult, the ground pound, can be iframed, you know, if not completely dodged. You can't dodge it, by the way. If you, you know, if you, she locks on, and before she her animation goes, you flip out of the way. Nope, you still hit. F you. And even better, again, as a point-and-click ability, if it doesn't hit and go off, you don't waste your focus. If I'm a McGrave, and I ground and pound, and everybody, like, scatters before it hits... I don't get refunded to focus. <laughs> I've just wasted it. It's been flubbed. Zero damage. Whoops. If I'm an Ashling, I can actually be frigid murdered before my focus goes off and I've wasted my focus. That really does need to be addressed. Uh, Motiga, let's get on that because that sucks. But a trip, if you don't hit a, your focus, you don't waste your thing. <laughs> and again, the other thing is you go invincible when you fudging use it. If there's a low health target and you're about to lock on with it and you get jumped by the entire team, you're probably going to still murder that guy. <laughs> they can't stop you. I have yet to find, even with the new focus priming, which actually I like on trip because I, I can actually aim the focus now. You jump on your target, you're untargetable. That's it. You do, you do your ridiculous, and again, I'm talking about a thousand damage at max range of damage on your target. Nothing can stop you. And even worse, it stuns. It fudging stuns. This is the third stun on the assassin, which I know needs to be toned down, and Motiga has talked about it, but it's a third stun on an ult, which does a ton of damage, has great utility that you're invincible for. Yeah, you, you stun. You're invincible and you stun. And let me tell you something. Um, uh, Vatasi, alt, used to make you invincible. And Motiga was like, that might be a little bit much, because she can go invincible for like six seconds and, you know, pretty much escape anything. But the trip? Nah, let, let her go invincible and do a ton of effing damage. Uh, whew, thanks, Motiga. That, that seems like a really constant, you know, guideline. Again. So it stuns. You can't access your defensive ability as you're being hit. If you're like a Vadasi and you can take 90% less damage, if you focus for, you know, during this whole thing, can't use it. Even if it would save your life. Like, you see it coming, you're just about to use it. She can stun you, make sure it doesn't happen, and get wrecked. Get extra armor? Nope. You're stunned. You have to take the whole goddamn thing and just sit there. And it's actually a lengthy animation. Like, a second? Second and a half for the full thing? Again, Vadasi has a three second, 90% reduction of damage for three seconds as a level one focus. Trip gets a second and a half for free while doing damage. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, again, it, it, whew, it drives me nuts. It, does it fit with the kit? I don't know. So let's just not complain. I, I've complained for about eight minutes about Trip being bullshit with this focus. But could you change it? Now, way back when, it used to be that you'd target an area, target one of the people in the area, do a lot of damage, and do AoE damage around everything. Now, that was kind of like given up because it felt clunky and not good with her kit. However, I could th I can think of like two to three different ways to like fix her focus. Uh, my probably favorite, and I'll share this with you, and if you guys have other thoughts, like, what you'd like to see as Trip's focus otherwise, you know, just leave in the comment section. Trip's focus would be like a Kerazim alt in Heroes of the Storm. 
That is to say, it does, and I'll even bump the damage up if you want to change it this way. Instead of doing, you know, a max strength 1,091 damage, it does, you know, 1,200. In a low end, you know, 366 from the front armor, let's, let's just pop it up to, like, 400. And from the back armor, uh, 700. I'm just throwing out easy numbers there. It obviously need to be balanced. But it does damage divided among the targets in the area. So, you know, this is Kerosene Malt, you, you know... Everything in the area takes equal damage. So, if there's one thing, it's a great assassination tool. You hit them. Also, there's no stun. Fudge you when you goddamn stun on an assassin. Three of them. Poof. Anyways. <laughs> um, you do damage equally divided among the targets that are within the area. You can flood this all, too. It's no longer a point-and-click and win kind of ability. It also doesn't teleport you with your target. Because, again, bullshit. It shouldn't be an I win button. You shouldn't be able to just dumpster somebody with it. But, you know, so if you have, like, a granny with hands and a creature, the creature takes zero damage, but still counts as a target. The hands take, you know, a quarter of the damage, and the granny takes a quarter of the damage. You know, it would be up around the ends of, like, 150, you know, with a level one alt. Because you hit from the back. And I might even give you that you almost always hit from the back. With multiple targets. If you have two plus targets, you always hit from the back. You always assume to. Give you the extra damage on those targets. But that's kind of my two cents in the whole thing. What do you guys think? Do you think Trip's Alt is, you know, in a good place, in a bad place, needs to be completely overhauled, just needs small tweaks? You know, just let me know in the comments section below. I'm Melon from Battle Wars Gaming, and I'll see you guys on the airship. See you soon.